people deluded and back again. Obviously, it's the you know the winter break for a lot of Premier League clubs, depending on how they've scheduled it. Arsenal tomorrow will be going to Dubai. Not to keep beating a dead horse, but Lacazette, obviously with Lacazette's form, it's always going to divide opinion, whether it's because you define Lacazette as a key player, a talisman for the team of sorts, you know, someone you expect to be scoring goals, if not scoring goals, making the impact. After all, he was our player of the season. And yeah, man, but this season he's been a shadow of that. Yes, he's had injuries, he's obviously lost confidence. You've heard things about his private life, but just to focus on sporting matters, he just hasn't been able to score. He's on a nine-game drought. Um, obviously, um, he hasn't scored away from home for a year. And there's another debate to be had over if Aubameyang was to leave. Could Lacazette be, you know, the 20-league goal minimum striker for this team? But that's neither here nor there. Obviously, Lacazette, he's always divided opinion at Arsenal and probably one question mark has actually been his, his ability to score goals because he scores goals in big games, he does his thing. But, I mean, within six months of him being here, yes, a bit of it was Alexis Sanchez's future people, but he saw Aubameyang come. Now, they've got good camaraderie. It's, it's just competition in terms of healthy competition. They're not rivals, they're boys and that. But it highlights potentially concerns teams or Arsenal might have had when we signed Lacazette initially because it did take a couple of years. Now, I'm not being disrespectful to Lacazette because at the end of the day, I think he's a good player. I think he could, I would like him to stay and whatnot, but this is the period in his Arsenal career where you're probably looking at it since he's been here, if he was to sell him, obviously, I'd still look for replacements and question it, but it's almost not that deep sort of thing. Um, if, at the end of the day, if he starts scoring goals, as football is fickle. If he starts scoring goals, getting assists and playing well again, everybody shuts up and whatnot. Because it's not, it, do you remember when? It's funny how football works because we used to bang for Aubameyang and, and Lacazette to start, especially under Emre. Now people want Lacazette out the side, and of course, myself included, because his form's not there. And obviously, with Martinelli shifting to the right and other things, it, it's not there. But I still think he's got things to offer our squad. I think obviously. Ozil's future, Aubameyang's future, Lacazette's future, they're all going to divide opinions and we're going to need to replace the, that creativity, the goals that them man bring and the creativity, quote unquote, that Ozil allegedly brings as well. Um, but that's neither here nor there. I think even if Lacazette was to go, we'd still need to sign another striker. If Eddie can't be that guy who can give us 10, 10 got double figures minimum, sort of, in all comps with love in the league, because I still think we'd need another goal scorer. Do you get it? We need goals from midfield. We need goals, other goal scorers, because I think there's clearly an over-reliance on, on, on Aubameyang. Martinelli of recent has been starting, but he hasn't been starting since the start of the season. And it's testament to how good he is that he's got 10 goals in all comps, but it's worrying from an Arsenal perspective. Again, a lot of our midfielders, you look at them, their profiles are not goal-scoring midfielders and whatnot. You look at Joe, he's got the dynamism to be a box-to-box -box goal scorer, in my opinion, less so of a creative man. I guess you could throw Maitland now. When Dozy gets up and down the field, I have him more as a deep lion sort. Um, but he needs to add goals and assists of some sort um, to, to just to just better his game because he gets in them positions. Torreira obviously is quite decent in the final third, but it's not his skill set. Xhaka scores great goals from time to time, but again, it's not really him. We need to go and get a Ramsey or something, or just maybe either coach that into our team, provoking more goal scoring situations or whatever. But it's actually Xhaka people that I guess Lacazette could look to for inspiration because obviously Xhaka still divides opinion. Some people have probably still made their beds up with Xhaka and made their opinions on the man. But at the end of the day, he's playing well. He's, he, you know, he's turned it around after the whole nonsense that happened on the field. So damn right, he's playing consistent. Yeah, a couple of games he's been a bit shaky and been in old habits, but nine times out of ten, he's relished responsibility. He's good. He's been a good performer, and I'm sure many real Arsenal fans that put personal agendas against players and individuals and their own opinions to the side would recognise Xhaka's um, Xhaka's um, contribution. It's not been amazing, but it's, it's, he's been part of the turnaround because he started the month or last month in January. He looked to give a goner to be gone to her for Berlin or elsewhere. Then he stayed. Obviously, Arteta used him in the side. I um, mean, Arteta, you heard, he always wanted to use him regardless. And maybe that could help Lacazette because Lacazette started games where you lot and myself included have questioned, let alone starting. How's he completed 90 minutes? Um, them sort of parallels could have been drawn by Xhaka. If he's Arteta's man, then Jack, um, it's good that Arteta backs Lacazette in my opinion and goes with him. Of course, for me, like I said, I think Lacazette needs to come out the side because he's not he's not moving like the Lacazette of old, the player of the season last year. Um, but it's li like to see. And at the end of the day, when you look at, I think Lacazette's low on confidence. He's not scoring his final touch isn't quite there. He's not quite playing with that spring in his step. But the defensive contributions and all of them, I think by Lacazette standards, it's dropped. But if Arteta's playing him because of that, if he's Arteta's man, then I think we've got to concede it. And I think. Lacazette's got to look at that and relish it. I think he's got to use this break in Dubai to recharge. Not just him, Pepe as well. You look at Pepe. 
what's it been six months or so since he signed for Arsenal didn't have a pre-season African Cup of Nations had some good games where he's shown sparks had some very positive games had some anonymous games you know use this Dubai period to kind of you know quantify where you've gone gone right and wrong and use it to recharge yourself for the second half of the season because top four is gone but if you want to get Europa League or just some have somewhat a respectable season by our own standards everyone's got to stand up to be counted people I've got nothing more to add that's all I wanted to say and really I've stayed here longer than I should but on that note people DG